Ladies and gentlemen, rush hour commuters, welcome back to Overcrowd. It's a commute em up. Welcome. Uh, right, so, 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 we did, uh, we did, uh, Zone 3, Temple Street, uh, in the last episode. I, it was, I don't want to say it was a disaster, but it was just about as close to a disaster as you could possibly get. Um, in part, I guess, because the money level is super duper low, the litter behavior was really unbelievably high, and I don't really feel like we went into that level with perhaps all of the tools that we actually needed. Sure, we could have maybe played a little bit better, but on the other hand, I think we're gonna do another Zone 5. Uh, the outer zones are a little bit easier. I believe. Not necessarily easier, but, uh, but you know, you use the, the, I don't know, the earlier tech. I, another thing that we need to consider is the, is the elevations. The elevations of our, uh, of our, of our train stations definitely need to be considered a little bit more. And also the sort of size, the size and the way that people get on and off the, the, the trains is very, very important. Now, we've got this starting area over here. Can I sell this? Can I just sell this, like, straight away? Because I'm pretty sure that this is going to be about as useless as it gets for us. Now, this is a very, very, very nice level for us. A very, very, very nice level for us. The reason why is that there are two small entrances, or two... I say small entrances. There's one large entrance and then one slightly smaller entrance uh, over here. I think we immediately want to see if we can try and get both connected up. That would be really rather nice. Maybe we can use one as an entrance and one as an exit? Maybe. Maybe. That's something to consider. Uh, but certainly, what we want to do in the first instance is we want to set up an area over here where we can have the turnstiles. So, what are we going to do? What are we going to do indeed? Also, we need to look at what bonds uh, we have unlocked. And a few bits and bobs still need to be unlocked because we didn't unlock them through the last uh, through the last level. But to be honest, I'm not particularly worried about that. Okay, so we'll grab the entrance over here in the first in the first place. Cool. Pretty happy with that. Pretty 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 darn happy with that. Build one entrance and hit the footfall target. Fine. You know what? I think I think we're gonna be able to get two. I think we're gonna be able to get two lines here. Pretty optimistic about that. How much would it cost for me just to like build this entire area? Five grand? You know what? I kind of feel like maybe this is our time. This is our time to get double platforms, right? 800 quid. Another 800 quid. But we're not going to do this. We're not going to do this quite yet. We're not going to do this quite yet. Let's get the let's get the area set up. Let's get the area set up first. So, we're going to need to get a couple of ticket machines. Ticket machines can go anywhere but in front of this door. We'll get two. That's fine. Uh, talking about track configuration, actually, it's going to be pretty important, I think, because we don't want to mess this up too much. We want to make sure that it's a very, very simple route for our passengers to, to move around. Like, I think on the last episode, we had a good we had a good thing going, but I just don't think that it was... I don't think that it was sustainable, unfortunately. Right, so let's get this in here. This in here. This in here, this in here. All right, so as you can see, I'm moving towards a system where we are literally going to have a divider. There we go. We're going to have a divider there. We're going to have the two platforms over here. There's room to expand, so we're going to be able to get way more turnstiles if indeed that's something that we're interested in doing. Exit, exit, entrance, flip, entrance, entrance, flip. Wonderful. This platform is going to be disembarking from, well, both sides. Yep, that's fine. We also want to get a footbridge as well. It doesn't really need to be done now, I guess. You know what? We'll sell the footbridge. We'll, we'll keep the footbridge for later because that is not a super high priority. We're going to have a very, very, very small working area in comparison to, to what we had last time. That is what I've learned. That is what I have learned. That is what we are, we are after. Oh, actually, tell you what. We are going to need a footbridge if we if we want to move people around okay we'll, we'll stick in a footbridge now that's it's completely fine all right so staff again very very important we learned that we learned that the hard way 
staff are very, very, very important. Uh, fine. Actually, you know what? Just buy this entire area. Buy this entire area. Go into here. Tool room. Yeah, we'll keep it small. We'll keep it chill. Small tool room. Utility room as well. We'll keep that reasonably small. No need to go crazy. No need to go crazy whatsoever. Staff room. We're going to get a staff room, but we're going to get it up here. We don't really need to do that at this moment in time. I just need to make sure that we we smash down some of the generators that we're going to need. A couple of wheelie bins, a fuel barrel, just for the measure. All right, I think that's probably going to be enough to make this area work. Uh, obviously, there are a couple of amenities that we could do with getting. Also, do I have level 2 bins? So if I could get level 2 bins straight away, then that would make my life easier. Yeah, so I'm not going to place a single level 1 bin. We'll get toilets, we'll get bins. Could get level 2 turnstiles, actually. How much do level 1 turnstiles cost? How much do level 1 turnstiles cost? 150 quid. I presume that level 2 turnstiles can deal with people slightly faster, use less power, and are more reliable. Absolutely. Sign me up. Okay, ditch, 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 ditch. And we'll get ourselves some level 2 turnstiles. Oh my lordy, they are also way smaller. I dig it, I dig it, I dig it, I dig it, I dig it. All right, fence, fence. Fence. Excellent. Good stuff. Exit, exit, entrance, entrance. Let the flow checker compute. Just for a second. And I think we are ready to go. I think we're ready to give this a, a good old crack. Okay, so litter. Litter, litter, litter. We're not going to have anywhere near the amount of litter issues that we had in the in the last session. Mostly because uh, the litter was indeed a massive, a massive factor in our failure. But that's fine. You know, that's past... We don't need to worry about it anymore. I want to make sure that I get a sing uh, signal automator as well. Like, that's definitely something that we want to do. Let's grab a newspaper stand, stick that in there. Sure. All right, I think we're ready to open up. Let's freaking go. Excellent. Okay, so that's an extra two grand straight off the bat. How are we doing in terms of power? We generate way more power than we actually need, so that's fine. Power drain, 3.54 kilowatt hours. Excellent. Okay, so the train is en route. Wonderful. Uh, we got two grand spare. So you know what? Let's use this as an opportunity, perhaps. Smash down a huge amount of extra space over here. Uh, also, let me see if I can try and get a staff-only zone. I know this is something that is... Uh, something that I sort of walked past or looked past in the... In the previous episodes. But that's okay. You can always pick it up now. Infrastructure, staff only zone. Excellent. Brilliant. Okay, I'll get the staff only zone. That's an infrastructure. Don't know why I have to pay 10 bucks. 10 bucks to show that it's uh show that it's staff only zone. But there we go. There we go. Sell those three. Sell that staff only zone as well. Excellent. Okay, so one staff-only zone should keep everyone out of there. That's the plan anyway. Staff room. Let's make a nice small staff room over here. Door over there. And then we can put the control room in this vicinity. Excellent. And you know what that means? It means that we can actually cut back on all of this additional space as it is simply not required. Look at that. The efficiency is insane. Okay, a water cooler. A vending machine. Uh, two comfy chairs for good measure, eh? And then we will resume. Power output maybe is a little bit low. Yeah, probably to be expected there. But that is totally fine. All right. Power generator up and running. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right. Let's see if we can try and get some staff. Let's see if we can try and uh, get our staff that we've currently got on retainer. There we go. Grab them. There we go. And let's do it. Call the train. Fantastic. 
Okay. I think we are going to be in a good place. Earn a station reputation of at least a uh, 100%. Honestly, that would be incredible if, if possible. I'll definitely be able to build the max number of tracks for sure. I am pretty convinced that I'm going to be able to do it. Okay, you're after a megaphone. That's that's actually okay. Uh, I can actually extend this down here. I didn't really think that through, but that's okay. Extend this down here. Grab a couple of megaphones. Wonderful. And yeah, now you can now you can mega the phone. Right. Do we need to set up priorities? Job priorities? Who's best at megaphoning? Mali? I'll put you on priority two. You know what? You you guys don't need to megaphone. Thomas, why don't you come over here? There we go. And why don't you see if you can grab a litter picker? Excellent. So you can pick up a little bit of litter. And that should make my life just a little bit easier. Excellent. No, 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 no. Mally, 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 Mally. We've talked about this. You're quite good at doing refuse, but you know what? This is a priority three for you. Mally. Get back to get back to here. Okay, so the layout of this station is is real good. I'm really, really, really happy with this actually. This is this is looking very, very comfortable. Right, so just use the megaphone as much as you possibly can. We'll look to get a couple of different a couple of different facilities for people as they come. Toilet in there, wonderful. And you know what? We'll get another toilet up at the top of the station up here in just a second. Also, I completely forgot that we do actually need to do need to do some lights. That was what I was missing. Over there, and we can't afford anything else, so unfortunately, unfortunately that's it. Also, I I don't think we got enough power. Also, somebody's gone on strike, which is kind of not cool. Kind of not cool at all. Yeah, how about you just get back to work? Mally, you've got the... You've got the phone. Alright, well, you know what? Power situation's a little bit grim, but that's okay. We can sort that out reasonably quickly. Also, I've just realized I haven't placed down a single flipping bin, which is why all the litter is going, is going everywhere. It's fine. These things happen. These things happen. Alright, bin level one in comparison to bin level two you know just give me a bin level one that's fine for now totally 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 fine all right mally no 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 no. why are you work over here there's no point in shouting your megaphone at the side of the station where nobody's listening you know just just sort it out just sort it out pierce your working area it needs to be more central as well As soon as you're done emptying this bin. Okay, fine. You're not going to be done emptying the bin quite yet. So that's okay. Uh, and Thomas, yeah, you work in this entire area. So that's so that's pretty darn good. we got 200 bucks. Let's throw down another bin. It's my bad for not having an adequate number of bins in the first place. It was pretty daft, but hey-ho. A couple of people are asking for more seats. Don't even worry about it. We're fine. Uh, there does seem to be a little bit of a power shortage here, which is uh, not necessarily a super big problem, but it is tanking our station reputation. I say tanking our station reputation. It's not tanking it, not tanking it hugely, but it's enough to be, it's enough to be a little bit irritating. Yeah, so definitely people are thinking poorly about it, for sure. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Maybe we just, like, turn one of these off or delete one of these. Delete one of these things. Mm. Alternatively, here's what we do. Since we don't need it now anyway, right? We'll just get rid of an entire an entire bit of floor. And then we're going to go and stick down another generator. Because I know for a fact that this is probably going to be all the generation that we're going to need. If we need any more for the level, then... I mean, to be honest, I would be surprised. I certainly don't think that we're going to need that much. 
All right, so it's raining, and when it rains, it pours, quite literally, and it can get very, very, very slippy. Like, unbelievably slippy. Let's also get a... Not a signal relay. We want to get a... Yeah, a signal automator, which is exactly the thing that is going to help us never have to worry about missing a train again. 400 bucks for this piece of this piece of gold. Honestly, 400 bucks is a is an absolute bargain for what we're getting here. It really really is. Okay, you're after a crisp machine. A lot of people are after a lot of different things. You know, I appreciate that. Cost to connect wowzers. Okay, negative it cost us 700 pounds to connect that up. That's um I would say a little bit inconvenient. But again, you know what we do in times of um, in times of financial problems? Just sell some floor. Just sell some floor. It's just that simple. Built minimum number of entrances. Excellent. We got a thousand pounds. Shift 198 commuters. We will indeed endeavor to do that. Platform one. There we go. Okay, so we are literally calling the train every hour on the hour, which is perfect. So we're calling it about as regularly as we possibly can. I'm going to see if we can try and build another... I'm going to see if we can try and build another track. That's right. I'm going to do it. I am going to do it. Platform 2, how much is it going to cost? It's going to cost us... Max 3 carriages. That's fine. Okay, so 800 bucks, 800 bucks or 800 pounds or whatever... And that'll get us across the line. Also, a lot of people are complaining about the lack of facilities over here. So we're probably going to have to increase this a little bit. All right. We'll stick down a drinks machine or whatever. Whatever the heck people are after. Uh, yeah, we need to go and buy them, don't we? I think it's in commerce. Yeah, cash machine. Drinks machine. Newspaper ad, ATM ad, yeah, yeah, fine. Phone box as well, we'll grab that too. All right, commerce. We can't afford any of it apparently, so that's fine. All right. Oh, where's the rat? Get, in, get the rat prod, get the rat prod, and get the rat prod, El Pronto. Excellent. We got a drinks machine. Mali, you should be operating in the... In this area, I don't know why you're lost. I don't know how you can get lost. You can literally see the turnstile over here. It's it's a pretty simple it's a pretty simple setup that we've got going over here, but there we are. All right, what else? What else do we need to do? Hit all transit targets for all entrances. I mean, honestly, I I would kind of like to do that. I'd kind of like to try and get uh try and get another entrance over here and indeed we can we can certainly do that also i'm gonna move this i know that i get a penalty it's super dumb the fact that i do get a penalty but whatever as soon as we're able to afford the entrance we're just gonna we're gonna do it it's rush hour which is fine a couple of people buying water a couple of people buying soft drinks that's okay Seats, maybe if you went through, if you went through into the station, you'd get, you'd get a seat. Like if you went through into the platform area, you'd get a seat. I don't know why people are mooching around here. It's a bit daft, but hey ho. All right, open the shutter and let, let even more people through. That's right. Uh, excuse me? Why am I not able, why was that, why did that not call? How, how very strange. How very strange. Also, the fact that it takes like an hour in order to get everyone boarded on the train is a little bit ridiculous. Hey, we did it. I have absolutely no idea why I ended up getting a single star. Like that is an absolute joke. So that's fine. Okay, let's see if we can try and do a little bit better here. Earn a station reputation of at least 100%. I think that we can do that, to be honest. I think that we can do that. Build maximum number of tracks. 
Yeah, that's what I'm gonna try and do, and I'm gonna try and do it right now. Do we need to get more... Do we need to get more uh, signal automators in order to get more automation per track? I think that might be the case. Yeah, so there's something quite nice about having just like a nice, simple setup. You know? There we go. So a light there. Excellent. There's no power? Is that that really an issue? Fine. If that's the case, then that's the case. We'll, we'll get ourselves a little bit more power. All right. Level one generator. Uh, boy. Is that going to fit? I, I don't know if that's actually going to... If that's going to mean there's any access. Okay. You do platform one and two. Platform one and two. Cool. Call the train. Yeah, I don't think these signal automators are actually worth it, to be honest, but hey-ho. Says we don't have power, but uh, I'm kind of surprised at why we don't. Yeah, that is a little bit surprising that we don't have the appropriate amount of power here. But if we need to add additional capacity to our utility room, then I would be happy to do that. How on earth did you get stuck in the wall there? It's not going to say a disaster, because it's not a disaster. Far from it. Alrighty, good stuff. Good stuff. And we will get ourselves a signal automator over here. 760 pounds in order to connect that up. Of course, it's far too much. If in doubt, just sell, sell everything. Sell everything and that'll be fine. Okay, more seats, more seats, more seats. Everyone wants more seats. Okay, everyone's going back to work, which is great. Happy, happy days. Uh, let's grab a cash machine over here. We've got a drinks machine already. Get a crisps machine. Get one of those. And then we'll go and get some seats as well. Get some nice, lovely benches. Look at this. Look at this. Yeah, see, I think part of the problem is that the... People do seem to... People do seem to get uh, get on and off the train at a disappointingly slow speed, which means that having a signal automator is basically not worth it, because the train needs to be out of the station before it's able to call another train. Like, there is a cooldown. Yeah. Oh, well, I guess it is what it is. I guess it is what it is, right? It still looks like it's working. There we go. A couple of additional benches just to make more people happy. And maybe one more. Alrighty. Okay. So here's the here's the good news. Here's the good news. Is that I want to use this. I want to use this as an opportunity to leverage all of this building work that I have done on... You know, this station is... You know, it's far from the most elegant thing. I, I don't like the fact that we've got a, uh, you know, we don't have a one-way route. Hit footfall bonuses for all entrances. Nice. Yeah, we don't have, we don't have a one-way route. It doesn't, it doesn't feel like a proper, like a proper station. Uh, but you know what? It does, it does work. And therefore, it's probably fine. So, we're going to use this as an opportunity to perhaps employ some additional staff. Maybe get them trained up a little bit. Yeah, okay, Pierce, you're already on the level one first aid kit business, which is great. The fact that the the fact of the matter is that the footprint is just much, much smaller than than it otherwise would be. If we had like a massive one way setup. So we've actually ended up in a really, really nice situation where we're able to afford everything. It all it all works reasonably well. There we go make sure that everything is is lit as they say grab some level one plants and we will make sure that we have a corresponding watering can as well and look at that just like just like that we're making a ridiculously large amount of money 
everyone is seemingly happy. Reputation is mostly due to the fact that people are lost. But that's okay, because we're about to hire a brand new member of staff. And we're probably going to give them a megaphone, and they can just sit on the platform in the middle. And, uh... And just faff around over there. Tools. Megaphone. There we go. Does a megaphone actually solve, like, uh, issues? The issue that we're having? The the fact that people are lost? I wonder. I, I really do wonder. Get that. Get that. Cool. Bonds available in the zone 106. Okay, so we still have a, a couple more to go. So we should really be proceeding to the next level with a whole bunch of additional stuff unlocked. Yeah, so let's just unlock as much as we possibly can. Four carriage train. Yeah, we should easily be able to do that. I think this is the this is the strategy. We don't want to be rushing here. Like, I think I was just going too fast, honestly. Making it unnecessarily difficult for myself. Right, I'm going to buy as many bits and bobs as we possibly can. We're down to a single bond now, which is fine. Mali is despairing. But have no fear, you're about to have another... Another colleague who can also despair alongside you. Congratulations, Simon. Although, that's not actually your name. Your name is... Your name is... Your second name is Simon. Oh my lordy. I think Simon's perception might be through the roof. Look at the size. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my goodness. You can do jobs, like, everywhere. You can do jobs over the entirety of the station. You make everyone else look positively amateur. That's hilarious. Alright, grab the megaphone. That's fine. Uh, we did get the maps, right? We did get the maps. I think we got the maps. Did I even get... Did I get the maps? I did get the maps. Okay. Must be placed on the wall. Fine. There we go. That actually saves me a little bit of money. Uh, there is a wall here, right? There is a wall here. I just can't place it because I don't have the cash. Excellent. Just making sure, video game. Just making sure. What are you talking about? There's no way out. There's a map right there, bud. There's a map right there. Okay, 49% station reputation. Where's the negative stuff coming from? Litter? Suppose I could probably do more to get a couple of additional bins down. Yeah, maybe that'll maybe that'll make a difference. Maybe that'll make a difference. Maybe it won't. Who the heck knows, eh? Brilliant. Okay, we got a lot of megaphoning action, which is real good. We got somebody that has... Oh, do I actually have a tool repair station? Straight up do not think that I've got a tool repair station. Alright, there we go. Go grab the toolkit, and we'll get the drinks machine repaired. The rodent problem should be eradicated pretty much near instantly, to be honest with you. It's okay, it's okay. The rodents, we're on the rodents. We're on the rodents. We're on top of them. Thomas is just having a tough time. Oh, how on earth did you get KO'd there? It's ridiculous. Once you lose reputation, it's rather ridiculously challenging to get it back. As, uh, as I have found out. Mally, what are you doing? Go repair. Go repair that. Nice. Okay, I mean, certainly cash is not a problem. We are in a really, really, really nice place when it comes to when it comes to cash. I I don't know how these people are still stuck here. Staff action, people. Staff action. I I, I really don't understand. I really don't understand why people are expecting my staff to do anything. They're terrible. 
Uh, high prices. I, I think that we can actually adjust the price of tickets here. And to be honest, we can adjust the price of everything. Let's adjust it way down so that we, you know, make a little bit of money. But nothing... Nothing crazy. Crisps. Crisps for only two pounds, eh? It's an absolute bargain. Tickets. Let's... Let's do that. All right. Reputation today. Yeah, we're actually losing, like, a ridiculously large amount of reputation because we're making so much money on newspapers and stuff. Yeah, so that's pretty... That's pretty catastrophically bad. All right, let's skip to dawn. Let's skip to dawn. And let's see what the heck happens. All right. Good stuff, everyone. Good stuff. Look at the maps. Just look at the maps, and the maps will tell you which way to go. Uh, we got a wet puddle over here. We got a wet puddle over here. We've only got one person that is capable of mopping. Which I do indeed see to be a problem. Hmm. Okay, we're going to do something which I'm not exactly over the moon about. I'm going to get another tool room over here. Which of course, I can't do unless I make it slightly larger. I guess just go, go all out, eh? Okay, and then we get a tool room... Uh, yeah. Tool room. Cool. Stick it down over there, and then go tools, and then we're gonna get mops, because apparently mops are just the thing. We're gonna get a assist tablet. And I think that's it. Alright, an alarm? I don't think that we... I don't think that we really need an alarm, to be honest, but fine. Stick down an alarm. We will stick down a PA system as well, which has got like a ridiculously small area of effect, apparently. Everyone is getting a bargain on the tickets now, so nobody should have any issues. Bought water. Great. Grab the mop. Look at this. Look at this. It's so tranquil. It's so nice. It's so ridiculously chill. Medicine cabinet. We can stick down a medicine cabinet over here or maybe even a TV set. Not yet, anyway. We can almost afford a TV set. Alright, 53 reputation. How, how is it that I still, even though things are going, like, ridiculously well, I still have... I still have less reputation than when I started the gosh darn level. Is that not crazy? Is that not crazy? What are people complaining about now? More seats. More seats. More technology is available to produce. All right. Doesn't really make sense, but I'll, I'll, I'll give it to you. That's fine. Okay. What can we get? Four carriages? Nice. Let's do it. A third platform? Also going to do it. Nice. I don't think we're going to need it for this, uh, for this area, but that's fine. Level two generator. Yes, please. That's really, really good. Okay. We're just going to try and unlock as many... As many different bits of tech now as we possibly can. What the heck, right? The other thing that we want to consider... I think... I think we want to extend the, the, uh, the train area by... A little bit more? If we extend it by a smidgen, I think we're going to be able to... Get four carriage trains. Which, to be honest, is probably overkill, but I think I kind of want to do it nonetheless. There we go. Max four carriages. I mean, you, you know that we're going to, right? You know that we're going to. Okay, now it's saying that we don't have enough power, but to be honest, let's just sell everything. These are all, like, condition 100%. Okay. Love it. That probably doesn't include the fuel inside them, but that's that's okay. Uh, yeah. So, give me a level 2 generator. What does this give us? Makes more heat and needs more fuel. 
power drain 11 kilowatts and we produce 10 kilowatts okay so we need to actually get one more one more big power generator um duh, duh, duh. if we have a what why the heck do we get a movement penalty for moving for moving that i don't know also i don't think we're gonna have enough space in this room uh you know what we can make it work we can make it work okay if i have to sell this fuel barrel i actually lose 10 bucks what i suppose that i bought the barrel full of fuel but i still bought the barrel like the fuel was included in the i don't know i don't understand why the heck did i lose money for selling something jeez louise what a daft what a daft daft world eh Okay, so then... Keep misclicking. Uh, yeah, we want to stick the generator in here, so... Yeah, I actually think that'll be fine, right? That will be completely fine. Excellent. Okay, so now we should definitely have enough power. 12 points... 12.5 generated. Excellent. It's more than enough. Good stuff. Alright, we're gonna extend this train as well. Look at the sheer number of people that we're able to move. Need more fuel? Oh yeah, we do need fuel actually. That is... That is somewhat of a problem. Alright, extend the utility room by a little bit. And we'll see if we can try and stick some fuel in here. Apparently, I'm still going to suffer a prestige penalty. Oh, no, I'm not going to suffer a prestige penalty. Reputation penalty, 0%. Good. I would not expect to lose any reputation from moving something which people cannot actually see. All right. Let's also extend this out a little bit. Although, if I do extend this out a little bit, then we're probably going to end up draining a little bit more power. And I probably do not need all of the extra power. Alright, rush hour is over. Seems like we've got a lot of people just chilling around here. And I do indeed think that they would be slightly better suited if they decided to move a little bit more, a little bit more quickly. Alright, I'm going to get a PA system. I don't really know if it's going to be super effective, but... We'll give it a shot. Reduces overcrowding, etc. Uh, yeah, we need to get more benches. We need to get, like, way, 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 way more benches. Reputation of at least 75%. That is... It's a challenge. I'll tell you that for free. It's a gosh darn challenge. It's a big gosh darn challenge. Alright. Keep mopping. Keep mopping. Keep mopping. Someone has gastric flu. Grab the med kit. Grab the med kit. Who's going to grab the med kit? Okay, hold up. We need to do priorities. Pierce? Yeah. Okay. You're going to take out the trash, Pierce. That's great. Now go get the first aid kit and then go treat the gastric flu. People are going to leave, so it's no big deal. But... Yeah, we don't want we don't want a situation like that to to arise pretty much ever. Right. And then that can go over there. And that's about it. Okay, we're going to skip to dawn. I've just realized that I probably will not have enough money in the morning, so my staff are almost certainly going to go on strike immediately. But that's okay. That is completely okay. Uh, we're going to hire some more staff. We got a norovirus coming up in four days, which is fine. Somebody's got flu. Pierce, you're on it, I presume. I think I think that you've already treated them. That's excellent. That's good stuff. Simon, you know what? Go grab your tablet thing. Go grab your tablet thing. All right, and then get back to Malton, please, everyone. Yeah, we're going to see if we can try to get a brand new member of staff. 
the sooner the better, really, as far as I'm concerned. A couple of people are tripping over. Falling on the, uh, falling on the water. Etc. But that is fine. Simon. You know what? Yeah, we'll give you mopping responsibilities as well. You're not super good at refuse. You're good at... You're good at people things. Yeah, you know, actually, you are good at medical. Give you priority one medical. Cool. All right. I should maybe talk a little bit more about how the uh, about how the staff skills work and what each of the qualities, or what each of their qualities end up uh, improving, or how they translate to how they translate to how things work on the job, but. I think it's fairly obvious. Strength is how many roles they can carry out. So Thomas has only got, you know, reasonably low strength. Speed is how quickly they move. Stamina, how long they can move for. Perception is, you know, the, the amount of stuff that they can see in their vision. So uh, it's pretty interesting. And then all of the different skills affect how well they're able to do individual tasks. A member of staff is tired. Look, look, you may be tired. You know, you just head, head for a break. Head for a break. Thomas, Thomas is particularly well rested, actually. Stagger the timetables again. There we go. Excellent. Yeah, we don't want to do auto rest because that's just too, that's just too, too unknown, too unknown, and a little bit, a little bit weird. A vandal has entered the station. These miscreants have no respect for the temple of transit that is your station. They will attack your facilities, reducing their condition, breaking, or even destroying them. Oh my goodness. A caution or taser tool. I don't think I've got the caution or taser tool. So let's see if we can try and unlock that, eh? Crime desk. Oh boy. All right. Fine. I'll get a crime desk. Epic. All right. Infrastructure, tool room, excellent. And let's go into tools, let's grab a crime desk. Stop, thief. All right, do we have anyone that does crime stuff? Uh, not really, but to be honest, we could. We could definitely get somebody to do that. We could definitely hire somebody brand new. And to be honest, I'm thinking that that might be the strategy. You know what? Go and equip the crime desk, eh? No, no, no. Go, go stop the... Yeah, go stop the, the, the litter room. Go witness a crime. Actually, I tell you what. Simon... Simon, 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 you are, you are going to be our crime detector, right? Mally, de-equip the tool, de-equip the tool. Simon, it's your priority one. You know what? You're going to be absolved of medical and also mopping duty so that you can just focus on, yeah, so you can just focus on providing people assistance and then also on, uh, also on on catching crimes because you've got such great perception you'd be you'd be perfect for it hopefully you get the tool before the vandal starts smashing stuff up there we go you've got the assistance tablet and you've got everything that you need okay okay a little bit of overcrowding happening but we're mostly fine with it Pierce? Pierce is looking for more wheelies. Uh, can't swap tools mid-task. Yeah, okay, having having a single small wheelie is, in fact, a pretty big pain in the backside. Okay, grab a second wheelie bin there. Cool. All right. Witnessed any vandals? No busker. You want me to get a busker in? Is that really a thing? 
the problem is, is that Simon has got such a great... Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Simon has got such a great vision range that it makes everything else pale in comparison. Everyone else is, frankly, unprofessional in comparison. 1,700 bucks. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Calm down, calm down, calm down. Right, you're lost. It's fine, we're getting to it, we're getting to it. It's almost, it's almost midnight, which is fine. Right, the gastro issues that we're seeing here ain't exactly ideal. You're grabbing the toolkit. No, 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 we need somebody to be on medical duty at all times. Pierce is on medical duty at all times. Fine. Uh, let's grab, let's grab the other member of staff here. You are good at refuse collection, and also I think that means mopping too. So stone, your area of effect is actually considerably larger than most others, so... But it's not as big as Simon's. Okay. Grab a litter picker and then get to work. Cool. Okay, so look at that. Look at that. We have lost so much reputation. However, we are going to arrest the Vandal. Or at least going to try to arrest the Vandal. It's evening time. That means that we, we get a good opportunity to clean the place up. Uh, things got hairy today, actually. Like, really, really hairy, in fact. Is it because my staff members are just so consistently... Bad shopping range? You're complaining about the bad shopping range? Mostly litter, though. Mostly litter. Sneezed on. Body nearby. Okay. Don't know why people are that bothered about there being a body nearby, but whatever. Alright. Also, where the heck is the toolkit? And can we get somebody to, to go and fix... To go and fix this area? Mally, we need to get you moved. Like, over to here. Yeah. Okay, great. Then you can grab the toolkit and then you can go and fix up the, the breakdown. I still think that more people, probably the answer in terms of uh, in terms of success. But the more people that we transport, the, the crazier things become. As it seems to as it seems to be. Capacitor, fuel barrel, rat poison. CCTV, air purifier. I don't think that I care about any of this stuff. I will definitely unlock it, but just not quite yet. Fruit and veg stall, sure. Hot dog stand, sure. Flower stall, sure. Coffee cart, sure. Don't worry about the ads, not for now anyway. Tools, we're fine for tools. Fuel barrel, I will get a second fuel barrel. Get a capacitor. I'll get a wheelie bin. I'll get a garbage compactor. Nice. Okay. Okay, everyone has decided to go on strike because, of course, I can't pay him. Can't even take out a little bridging loan to... to tide me over. Right. Skip to morning. And then we have to wait until, uh... until we have 200 quid in order to pay everyone back. Which is... Which is fine. We'll probably get there. Hopefully the game won't end on us. It is rush hour and everyone is deciding to, to come into the station, but that's okay. We got five members of staff now, so we got a lot of a lot of a lot of people to pay. But that's okay. At the end of the hour, we're gonna make sure that they're all back in uh, in work, which is excellent. Cool. Alright. Pretty pretty happy with that actually. Yeah, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, you know what I'm gonna say? I'm gonna say, Simon, let's put you on. Priority 2 megaphoning as well. So if you need to, if you need to, you can go and grab a... You can go and grab a, a tablet as and when required, but yeah, it shouldn't be... Shouldn't be altogether too difficult. Heat stroke. Oh my goodness. Can I have a little look? Total thermal imaging. Oh my goodness, it is ridiculously spicy here. Very, very, very spicy. 
Shows reputation due to lack of... Okay, fine. Okay, but the heat stroke, the heat stroke thing is, is, is big, is big, is real, is a problem right now. Okay, so where do we fix that? Where do we fix that? I think it might be... I think it might be here. Yeah, so level one fan. Help dissipate heat, cool down commuters slightly with this small and ineffectual fan. Uh, okay, well, we're gonna have to get an air vent. We're gonna have to get an air vent, or, or three, or two, or however many we actually need. Air vent. Yep. I don't know where the heck I can put it. On the wall, I guess. Problem is, is that we don't actually have that much wall space. Oh, we do have the other side of this area, so that's kind of nice. Yeah, no, we're, uh, we're, we're short on wall space. Okay. Has that made any difference? Don't think so. Also, the other thing that we need to consider is that we do need a special tool in order to heal heat stroke. So we'll grab that right now. Drip. Uh... Apparently we don't have power in order to do that. That's a mistake. If ever I saw one. 300 bucks. 300 bucks. Let's consolidate into a larger, much, much larger generator. Excellent. That should be fine, right? Should be fine, I hope. There we go. Good stuff. And you are going to be our heat stroke chap as well. Pierce. There we go. Cool. So, is... Where's Pierce's range? Pierce's range is, is around here. So, Pierce should definitely be able to grab the... Grab the kit and repair the heat stroke in that individual. Pierce, my dude, come on. Oh my goodness. Pierce, grab the kit. Grab the, yeah, grab the drip kit, and then go and sort out the gastro person. Okay. I don't know where the person is. I can't actually see them. Okay, Pierce has done what needs to be done. Go heal this commuter, please. Excellent. Stop vomiting everywhere. This is exactly why we don't allow sick people to come into the train station. Great. Fantastic. All right. You got healed up. Excellent. Dr. Pierce to save the day. All right. Simon, you've got the info tab. You should now be able to perform your info assistance to everyone, which is good stuff. A vandal has entered the station. That's okay. That's okay. As soon as Simon is done informing people of exactly what needs to what needs to be done then i'm sure we'll be back we'll be back in a decent state uh stone you can do repairs as well actually priority two repairs on stone all right simon is going to go get the crime desk and to be honest i actually think that has somebody already witnessed a crime Well, looks like that is indeed the case. Wonderful. Okay. Get arrested or tased or whatever it is that happens. Okay. We're in a good place in terms of cash. It's very, very nice. How is the heat map looking? Oh, it's looking bad. It's looking... It's looking bad. The air vents are doing frightfully little. Like, abysmally, abysmally little. Fine. Uh, I mean, can we unlock... Can we unlock anything? A level 2 fan? Air purifier? Noxious fumes? I don't care about noxious fumes. I care about air calm. Yeah, okay. Let's, let's do that. Presumably, though, the power usage is... A bit higher. Uh, the other thing that we need to consider is that we just ain't got... We ain't got that much wall space. We really don't. Okay, this area is going to heat up, and it's going to heat up, like, fairly quickly. Hmm. 
300 pounds. 300 pounds for that. It's a map over there. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna sell the map. I'm gonna sell the map. Okay. So I'm introducing that aircon in the hottest area that we have. Power drain, 11 kilowatt hours, and power production is more, which is great. Okay. Let's, again, sell that, sell that, and we'll just go for as many of these aircon units as we possibly can. More people, more people coming, coming on with heat stroke. Oh my goodness, cardiac arrest, really? Okay, major reputation damage. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. The good news is, is that we do have the ability to unlock the cardiac defib thing. So let's go and do that. Let's go and do that right now. Let's go and do defib in here. Excellent. Pierce, you can be our defibber. Pierce. Treat heart attacks. No, no. Pierce, 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 Pierce. Can't swap tools mid-task. Oh, you're kidding me. Really? You're, you're emptying some nonsense into the bin? I, I don't care about that. Simon, you know what? You're going to be on... No, no, no. Not the first... Did I buy the first aid kit? I didn't mean to buy the first aid kit. How is that on... Okay. I have no idea how I lost money on that, but whatever. Defib, 150 quid. Buy it. Okay, good. Simon, equip the defib. Go, 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 go. And make sure that defib is at priority one for Simon. It's a life and death situation here. Alright, who's having a heart attack? You. Go defib the patient. Go, 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 go. Nice! Great stuff! Great show. Great, great, great. Really, really good to see. Okay. How's the thermals? Thermals are still incredibly dicey. Incredibly dicey. Alright, we need to get way, 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 way more. Way more stuff needs to be needs to be moved. What I find kind of weird is that there is this abrupt change. Wait, is this high? Is white high? But people are having, like, heat strokes over here. This area can't be high, right? I guess it is, like, super duper high? So is the issue when they're going into, the, when they're walking into this area? So wait, white is as high as it can be. Really? Am I misreading that? Am I misunderstanding that? Alright. Everyone is gonna go on strike, no doubt. It seems like the heat stroke is happening over here, though. That's the weird thing. Don't understand how that is happening. One of your commuters has flown into a rage. Vent their anger will punch nearby commuters. Your staff can caution or taser if they have the right tool. Uh, okay, Simon, grab the, <laughs> grab the thing, please. Please grab it, please grab it now. Come on, get to the end of the hour. Yep. Yeah. Why, nobody's late, nothing's late. Don't have anything to worry about. Oh my lordy. Simon, you, you tell him. You tell him, my dude. Okay, Pierce. Yeah, you've got your priorities not entirely in the right order there. Yeah, you shouldn't be mopping up somebody's blood pile before uh, before treating them. Treating them is the priority here. Simon. No, not Simon. Sorry, Pierce. Yeah, mopping is definitely priority three. Treatment is still priority one, but okay, fine. Again, like, I really have a very hard time understanding this. So is is this area, is this just, like, super ridiculously hot? Is it really that hot? I mean, it would make sense that the generator room was super, super warm. 
but eh. All right, fine, I guess. Nobody seems to be having heat stroke. Nobody seems to be having uh, heat stroke at all. Okay, what are the negative modifiers? Still litter. Litter is still the big negative here. Litter is still the big old negative. Uh, what do we got going on? What do we got going on? Simon? I want you to defib this guy. You're getting the defib. Excellent. Okay. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Very, very hot. And things are crowded, but that's okay. Alright, use the megaphone, Simon. You do that. You do that. Excellent. We've still managed to just bleed reputation, though. That's what's kind of crazy, is that we are just bleeding reputation. Like there's no tomorrow. Just down the drain. Yeah, we just need more staff. We just need more staff. That's what we need. Okay, Pierce, you know, just go treat go treat this person. I don't think they've been lying there. We've been lying there for like 20 minutes now. And that's 20 minutes, you know, real time. Not 20 minutes in-game time. 20 minutes in-game time is mere seconds. Yeah, but the heat doesn't really seem to be... The heat doesn't really seem to be a problem, to be honest. Yeah, weird. Really, really, really weird. Super duper strange. Super duper duper strange. Alright, can we get another member of staff? How much do we need? 2,400 bucks. 2,400 bucks. Uh, to be honest, I want to get you. 3,000, 3,200. Chloe Edwards. That is... Honestly, a dream employee. So many stats. Look at that. Look at that. Four, 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 five. That's incredible. It's real good. Real, real, real good. Smell of rats? That's okay. We got a we got a rat anti-rat person somewhere. Pierce is on it. Pierce is on on call. Where's the rat? No, Simon. No, no, no. I need you to grab the drip. I need you to grab the drip. Who's doing? Who's doing drip? Pierce is on. Is on one. Simon, you can also do drip as priority one. Sure. Simon is just so good in comparison to everyone else. Honestly, far and away the best employee that we have. Like, by a considerable margin. It's not even close. It's not even flipping close. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay, Lexi Stone is leveled up. Excellent. Good to see. Still don't understand where all of my reputation is going. It is... It is just a disaster. Just a flippin' disaster. Bad shopping range. I mean, maybe there's something that I can do about that. Maybe there's something that I'll be able to do about the bad shopping range. I mean, honestly, maybe getting like a, a lower level where where I can where I can add more amenities. That would be that would be good. Stone. Yeah, there we go. You gotta repair uh, the kit over there, please. All right. Hopefully, we don't have any more applicants today. I don't want to give up on that 3,200 pound dream employee. Heart attack? Simon? Simon, go grab the defib. Who's got the defib? Who's got the defib? Nobody's got the defib. That's the drip. No, 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 Simon, you, you misunderstand. It's a... It's a priority one. It's urgent. Somebody is having a heart attack. You can't have your, your tea and crumpets at this moment in time. On the contrary, you need to... You need to defib them. Go back and take your break afterwards. You know, I don't mind. It's not a big deal. Alright, applicants. Chloe is still there at 3,200 bucks. 
Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. It's gonna be so good. It's gonna be so good. I wonder if I could just, like, put the door in here. I wonder if I could just move the door up a little bit. That would make... Make things... Much, much, much more easily accessible. But hey-ho. Okay, the shopping selection we do need to fix. We absolutely categorically need to fix the shopping selection. Vandal has entered the station. No doubt. It's gonna be... It's going to be Simon that fixes the problem. Mally, you just keep on megaphoning from down here. It's fine. Fine, 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 fine. Nope. Vandal's deciding to destroy the drinks machine. And a whole bunch of stuff. But that's okay. We're on it. Okay. I think that we're now slightly better. I don't think that this white means bad temperature. At least there's not... Many people complaining about heat stroke in this vicinity, so I guess it's fine. Simon, I thought we talked about this. You're needed. Go, 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 go. What the heck are people running away from? Also, there's a massive issue with the train. Yeah, go repair the train, please. That'd be excellent. Good stuff. Somebody's got a heat stroke. Somebody's caught a heat stroke? Is that the correct terminology? Alright. There we go. Pierce has got the drip. Excellent. It's rush hour. Will we be able to survive the rush hour? I think we will. I'm going to be much, much more happy once we're able to get our brand new employee, who we are very close to being able to afford. Look at this. Level 70. 70! Man, that's so good. Security, repair, people. Honestly, just uh, an amazing candidate. An amazing candidate, and I very, very, very much want to offer you a job. Paying £3,220 for upfront payment is, is ridiculous, though. Look at that. Look at that. That's just insane. That covers the entirety of the, the level, to be honest. That's, that's ridiculous. Okay. So, you're good at security. Let's take... Simon off security now. Okay. And let's only put you on medical and people. Brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. And so then Edwards can do security. Can do security, can do fixing. And to be honest, we can remove everyone else's priorities from fixing. Because fixing need to be done by nobody frankly, uh, apart from apart from Edwards now, and we will give you some priority three, I guess like Maupin or something, sure and we'll set your flag as like here and then you should just get to work there we go or, or not apparently oh, there you are you're, you're, you're going, wonderful all right, honestly, with that employee, I am, like, very, very confident that we're going to be, we're going to be fine. I've also got a pretty big plan for maybe not this evening, maybe tomorrow evening. The reason that I suggest tomorrow evening is that I don't think that we've got the cash needed to pay, uh, to pay for what I want to implement. All right. Keep the trains coming, keep the trains coming. 23% prestige is good. Certainly better than the norm. Where's my doctor? Where the heck is my doctor? Who did I put on medical duties? I put... Simon, I just put you on medical duties. What the heck are you doing, my dude? Oh, it's because Pierce has the drip. Of course. Pierce, you miscreant. Wait, did the person with heat stroke just get up and walk away? Are they faking it the whole time? I don't believe it. I don't believe it. That's not a problem. Okay. Uh, yeah, so here's what I'm currently planning to do. Crisp machine. I'm going to sell the crisp machine. Fine. I'm going to buy a bunch of floor. I'm going to put the floor down to the below level. 
And we're going to have an area down here. Area down here where hopefully... Actually, I shouldn't do this because otherwise my staff are going to freak out when they don't get paid or something. Yeah, we're going to have a staircase down here. 200 quid for a staircase. There we go. Uh, first aid, first aid, first aid, first aid. Go heal this customer. Pierce, what are you doing? You're just standing around. Go heal him. Cool. All right, now we go back into commerce. Coffee carts. Uh, we can't afford it at the moment, but we will be able to afford it in a bit. Yeah, and then we're just going to get a whole bunch of stuff down here. It's a little bit weird how we can't build underneath. But, uh, as in underneath the, the rails. But, not necessarily a problem. We can make do with that. And I'm sure things will be totally fine. I'll tell you what, we are blooming close to reaching our bond milestone as well. We have a huge amount of bonds. Huge amount of things that we can actually unlock. Ticket machine level 2. Indicator boards. Cool. Cool. Alright, pretty happy with that. Uh, let's go into commerce. Let's grab a da -da 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 coffee cart right over here. It must be built in concourse. Nice. Flower stall. Oh yeah, we need more money for that. We need more money for everything here. It's like a secret coffee area. A secret area for coffee, for flowers, for a crisp machine. Uh, where is Simon? Where is, where is Simon? No, oh, wait, no, who's, who's on security? I think it's now Edwards, isn't it? Where is our, where is our angry commuter? I don't think we have an angry commuter anymore. Did they decide to leave? Apparently so. Pierce, what the heck are you doing, my dude? Go to here. There we go. Alright. Do I want to see if I can try and set the prices a little bit more accurately? Uh, sales, total reputation. We're gaining a whole bunch of reputation here. Yeah, coffee, set it as a uh, super low mark uh, markup. Custard slice, similarly. Flowers, we'll sell them at three pounds. So basically, like, zero markup on all of our all of our commodities. Cash machine, wonderful. Crisp machine, which I think we got rid of in order to move this stuff down here. That's fine. And also fruit and veg stall. And then we will be, we will be grand. We will be grand. All right. Almost to the maximum number of bonds that we can, that we can get. Need more jerry cans. Really? Oh, also, speaking of jerry cans, we can actually get ourselves a garbage compactor for the utility room. It's going to cost us 600 bucks, but it would give us a pretty considerable cash saving. At the end of the day, we'd only have to pay for half of the garbage pickup. But you know what? I'm not super bothered about that. I think what I honestly want is just to get the hot dog stand and the cash machine, both of which should be pretty easy pickups, to be honest. As soon as we've done that we will be able to offer our commuters pretty much everything that they could possibly want. Hot dog stand, and that is going to cost me 400 pounds. 400 pounds, and we're good. Also, I just realized I bought two ATMs. That's entirely my fault. Can I buy a crisp machine instead? No. The video game has determined that no, I'm not going to get all my cash back. I'm instead only going to get a little bit back. All right, 250 quid, boom, and what did I say? The hot dog stand, excellent. Is that all of the stuff that I can possibly unlock in bonds for commerce? It is. Somebody has commuter rage. Where? It's about, it's about closing time anyway, so I don't know why I'm particularly worried. Right, so how are things looking? Litter, litter is still a little bit of a concern. 
but that's that's okay. Retail bargain, journey complete, staff action people. Yeah, not many people are getting much advantage from my staff. The staff don't seem to be particularly helpful individuals here. All right. Skip the dawn. And then this will definitely be our final day. And we'll see how much station reputation we're going to be able to... We're going to be able to gather. Bin access? Excuse me? Commuter Rage? Who's Edwards? Edwards, grab the crime desk. Go, 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 go. No, 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 no. Stop criminal. Stop criminal right now. All right. It seems that even just by increasing the number of stupid, like, amenities that I've got, or commerce buildings that I've got, that makes people so much happier. Don't know why. Doesn't make sense, because none of them are actually coming to this area. But it seems like my reputation is going through the freaking roof. Which is lovely. Very, very happy with that. All right. Looks like we might have a little bit of a power cut. A little bit of a power shortage. Uh, which is somewhat less than ideal. Yeah. Is it possible for me to get a... Generator upgrade? Or at least a secondary generator? Ugh, don't love this. Don't love this at all. I'll tell you what I can do, though. I can actually make a additional room over here. 280 quid in order to do this, though. Yeah, so what we'll do is we'll buy an additional room over here, and hopefully that'll provide enough power or enough space to power the rest of the facility. Either way, we end up finishing this level with double the number of staff that we started with. A thief has entered the station. Who is it? Oh, goodness gracious me. Well, we've got staff around the system. I'm sure we'll be able to uncover who exactly the thief is in just a bit. The fact that we do have a power shortage is infuriating, but it is what it is. And there we go. Just like that, we have reached the maximum number of bonds that we can ascertain on any single level. That is my pickpocket. Edwards? Edwards, Edwards, Edwards. Pierce is low health. Don't even worry about it, Pierce. My dude, you'll be fine. Right. Go do, go do the crime. Go do the crime. Wonderful. Okay, so even with, even with all of this stuff, even with all of this stuff in place. We have not managed to get the 75% the 75% uh, opinion uh, station rep or even 100%. I mean, that's kind of insane. Kind of insane. I, I was kind of expecting that we would maybe get a little bit closer than we have. Seems like reputation is really quite tough to to get. Utility room. Sure, don't know why that wasn't possible before, but that's okay. And, uh, yeah, okay. I'll take a level 2 generator down here. And a level 2 fuel barrel as well, if I can. But I can't. So I won't. So that's fine. Alright, 15 kilowatt hours of power coming in now is great. Okay, let's play until close of play today. Maybe, just maybe, we'll be able to get up to 75% reputation. I doubt it, but you never know. It might be might be worth a, worth a crack. Okay, also, this alarm is pretty unnecessary. Sell the alarm. I don't care about the, uh, the alarm. We've never needed to use it, so instead, I'm going to get some AC. Sure, throw down some AC. Maybe, just maybe, we'll be able to get some nicer AC. Upon reflection, don't think so. We need level 2, yeah, okay. So we can get a level 2 fan, air purifier, CCTV, hand sanitizer. I think we can actually unlock everything. Escalators, ticket machine, busker, statue, map, indicator board, uh, nothing here. Tools, we got all the tools that we can get. 
Uh, ads, we'll just do ads. Fine. We've got 21 bonds left. Is this going to be enough to unlock absolutely everything thus far? I think so. Customer services locker, refuse locker. Ah, okay, so we can actually boost specific skills with those lockers. So that's definitely something that we're going to want to do. Okay, somebody's... Somebody's having a heart attack. Please, please see to that immediately. If it gets to 12 o'clock, though, they're probably just going to walk up and get out of here. There we go. Defib. Wonderful. Okay, so at the end of the day, 44% station reputation... Is that bad? It's not good. It's not terrible. Oh, holy cow. I think Pierce left, actually. Whoops-a-daisy. Pierce, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you felt like you had to. I'm sorry you felt like you had to leave. Honestly, Pierce was probably one of the worst employees that we've ever had. Now that we've got Simon, who is a much more qualified... I don't want to say doctor. I don't know, first aider? Uh, we probably don't have to worry about that. So let's end the station whilst the going is reasonably good. Um, holy cow. Net customer experience, minus 21%. Even that felt like pretty good. Uh, lifetime profit, 582 pounds. That is not too bad at all. All right. So with that, we will head back out to the map. And I will say, ladies and gentlemen, thank you ever so much for watching this episode of Overcrowd. It's a commute -em up Thank you ever so much for watching. Thanks also to Aurelio. C Senpai and Banana Nanana for being the three uh, $25 tier patrons over on the Patreon page. Patreon.com forward slash open potato. Ladies and gents, this has been real good. Okay, we're going to be attempting zone four next time. Yeah, zone three was, uh, was a little bit too difficult for us, but that's fine. Anyway, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. See you then. Goodbye.